The moment we all have been waiting for. The results of Sebastian Georgiou's Shopify Olympics is finally here. Now it's time to take a look at how I did in this two month drop shipping journey to see how much money I ended up making from this series, including our rewards. We began this journey with the goal of creating as many e-commerce stores as possible to get them over $500 in revenue in a profitable manner. And after two months of nothing but solid grinding, we ended up testing a total of six various products on four different platforms. In the first part of our series, our hope to find the right product was falling fast as each product we tested failed to obtain any sort of revenue. It's my first week and I can't get a single sale. And now I'm questioning if I'll even be able to submit one entry into this event. However, with some patience in utilizing our winning product tool at Syria, eventually our luck began to turn around. Hey, we got our first sale. Order after order came in. We just, we keep, just keep getting, getting sales. sales. At that moment, we ended up discovering one product that reigned supreme over all of the others and ultimately gave us our golden ticket into the Olympics. That, that is, going is going to be, going to be our, our first, first entry, entry into, into the Olympics, the Olympics baby. baby. With this one product, we were able to finish the series with over $2,500 in revenue off of a single store. And in terms of profit, well, I'll let you know that towards the end. But there is no doubt that our tactical slingshots were our saving grace in this challenge. And I wish we could have found more winning products out there, but unfortunately, heading into the final week, we did not have enough time to test any other products. As a result, I decided to put all my money on black and decided to place all my faith in my one entry. As we headed into the final final week, I became more and more excited as the days led up to December 14th, aka the deadline for the Olympics. When we finally reached submission day, I didn't skip a beat and immediately rushed onto their website. Today is the day we submit our final results into the Shopify Olympics website and I'm excited to say the least. I filled in all the required information for my store and some personal details as well, then I clicked submit. Well, at least I tried to, but it did take a couple of hours because of an error in their system. All right. So I got to contact support, I guess. But eventually I was able to submit our results. Oh, oh, it, it worked. And just like that, our store was entered into the competition. And now all I had to do was patiently wait for them to announce winners. I'm not going to lie either. After everything, I felt really confident that we would win something out of this challenge. Whether that was at least a thousand dollars from one of my countless TikToks that I continued uploading up until the end of the event, or maybe even five grand from my actual store submission itself. And believe me, I knew it was unlikely, but maybe, just maybe even 25 grand for the highest revenue, assuming that everyone else just did really bad. I knew it was a long shot, but regardless, I was excited and ready to hear the results. A couple of days had passed and it was obvious that everyone was anxiously waiting to hear from them. But the Discord announcement chat sat as quiet as Logan Paul the day after he got canceled. Nonetheless, on the 17th, I received a Discord notification. My heart both sank and then began to race. I quickly took out my phone to glance at it and noticed it was a message in the announcements tab. Was this it? Was it finally time to see if I had won? I hurried over to my laptop to open up Discord, but my excitement slowly faded. It was not the message we were all anticipating. Rather, it was Sebastian saying that we all needed to wait just one more day for them to announce the winners. So I headed to bed that night with a mind full of restless and fretful thoughts. Jeez, I'm getting poetic in this video. The next day came and without any other options, I continued to sit and eagerly wait with my heart pounding at every notification that popped up on my phone. But with the entire day rolling by without a single message from them, I was beginning to lose hope. Nevertheless, a few days had passed and I received a Discord notification. This time, it was Sebastian stating that they had to verify winners and ensure they participated correctly and that they would be announced by the end of the day. I couldn't help but think this was it. The day all my hard work over the past couple of months finally pays off. But the night came and went and we didn't hear a thing. So I merely gave them the benefit of the doubt. That there were probably a lot of submissions and that they just needed a bit more time to ensure their legitness. So. I continue to wait. 
Days and even weeks had passed and I became consumed with nothing but utter disappointment as no announcements were made. But with time, rumors had spread that the people who won were contacted in private and this included the selected TikTok winners. So I guess their verification announcement was essentially them announcing whether you had won or not and I just never took the hint, ultimately meaning that we did not win anything in this challenge. Or did we? Yeah, I'll be truthful and please note I have not not disappointed that I did not win. In my opinion, I just believe their communication could have been a lot better. That way I could get this video out to you all much quicker instead of just patiently waiting. But since then, Sebastian has apologized in the chat, which I really do appreciate. Overall, I do owe a big thank you to both Sebastians for hosting this event. Because if it weren't for this challenge, I would have never tested multiple different products and platforms that ultimately led us to a profit of $925. So congratulations to the winners and thank you for tuning into this series.